We begin this Tuesday evening with balanced coverage of a decision that will likely keep your driver's license in your wallet next time you vote in Wisconsin. Good evening, everyone. A federal judge calling the state's voter ID law a burden on the poor and minorities. So today, that judge from Milwaukee struck down the law. What it does is require voters to show state-issued photo identification at the polls, and most commonly, that would be a driver's license. Now, the judge today said low-income and minority voters aren't as likely to have those IDs, so therefore, the law violates the constitutional guarantee of equal protection. This means the law probably will not be in place for the fall elections, which also include a race for the governor. The American Civil Liberties Union calls this a victory. We are very pleased that the judge recognized what we have been saying for a long time and what we think the evidence at trial, at trial showed, which is that this is a discriminatory law that imposes burdens on a lot of voters who don't have ID. The law was only in effect for one primary election date in 2012. A Dane County judge then blocked it. The state Supreme Court heard arguments in February in two lawsuits related to the law. It's unclear when the justices will issue a ruling. For voter ID to be reinstated, the high court will have to rule that it does not violate the state constitution, and today's decision would have to be overturned on appeal. Attorney General J.B. Van Hollen says he will be appealing the ruling today. It was part of a statement where he said he is disappointed with the order from the judge, and he says he still believes the law is constitutional. The Justice Department and Republican backers say it will cut down on the possibility of voter fraud and boost people's confidence in the election process. Governor Walker previously said that he may call a special legislative session this year to put a voter ID law in place for upcoming elections. His spokesperson did not comment on that possibility today.